tonight Fight the break of dawn, come tomorrow Tomorrow I'll be gone, say tonight Fight the break of dawn, come tomorrow Tomorrow I'll be gone There's a lot Hey everyone, welcome back! Today I have a fun tutorial. This is using colors that are some of my absolute favorites to wear on my eyes. I love purple eyeshadows. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. This palette it I was kind of on the fence about for a while. I've been playing with it a lot. Um, you can use the shadows wet or dry. So it comes with you know, what is it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 shadows, but then if you wet the shadows, they really intensify and change the finish, so you really get 28 shadows. So it's kind of a cool uh, palette to play around with. Um, I have created, as you can see, this look here. Um, this is going to be a collab with my dear friend Melissa Parada here on YouTube. You know, it's such an honor to be able to do collabs with people that I've been watching for years. Um, and the fact that she would want to do one with me just makes me so happy. So she's going to be creating a cranberry smoky eye using this palette. I have done more of like a cool toned purpley type of eye. Um, so make sure to head on over to her channel, watch her tutorial, support her. She is beautiful. She is talented. She knows what she's talking about when it comes to makeup. And her eye shape and her look is completely different from mine. So it's also going to give you some more options too if your eye shape is even different than mine. Um, and I know I like to watch different people because they offer like different techniques and different ways of doing things and she is so sweet. She is so sweet. She's just a beautiful person. Um, and of course I could not decide on what lip color to pair with this so it's, you're going to have two lip options. Um, but let's just get into this and don't forget to check out Melissa's channel and if you are coming over from Melissa's channel I give you huge hugs I welcome you here I hope you stick around for a while I would love to have you let's get into this I'm gonna start off this tutorial as I always do by priming my eyes with my Too Faced shadow insurance I just find that this works for me I like that it's lightweight it's not too heavy and it blends in really nicely and then I'm going to go on top of that with my Mac painterly paint pot and I have chosen a different method of application today I've decided to use a brush instead of what I usually do which is my finger it's just I don't know it feels a little bit more professional even though I am far from professional um, I just kinda wanted to see what it was like and I like it I like it with the brush I thought it put on a really even layer now on top of that I'm gonna use the lightest shade that's matte it's like a vanilla shade essentially I think it might even be called vanilla um, I didn't look up the shade names but you can tell what it is and I'm just going to put that all over my base just to kind of blank out any darkness redness veining what have you plus the shadows been blend best against other shadows so now I'm going to go in with this matte maroon shade and a fluffy Sigma brush and I am going to put this in my crease and I'm gonna blend 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 I want this to be seamless I don't want any harsh edges I just want to have a really pretty reddish maroon transition shade normally I would go for a brown but there's not really any lighter brown shades in this palette so I chose this color and as you can see I'm kind of tilting my brush upward angling it just to really blend out the edges I learned that trick from um, somebody else I watch here on YouTube makeup artist of some sort now I'm gonna take a tapered Sigma blending brush this is the darker purple shade in the palette and I am going straight into my crease with this and I am blending 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 once again this needs to be really seamless really flawless and so you just want to take that extra time to blend out the shades so that you know they kind of ombre into the, each other and you can't see where one starts or one ends so just keep blending now I'm going to take a cup of water and I'm going to dip my Mac 242 brush into it and you can use these shadows wet which really changes the finish and really makes them pop so I'm taking this lavender shade but it has a little bit of a blue tinge to it it's just a really pretty cool toned lavender and I'm patting that all over my lid and as you can see it is so pretty it really just boosts up the intensity of the shadow the finish of the shadow um, it's just so much better wet I just love it so I am just patting this all over my lid now I'm gonna take a Makeup Geek Outer V brush and I'm gonna dip into this dark well I guess it's called black <laughs> shade and I am going to slowly and precisely deepen up that outer V where we put the purple really 
just concentrate it in that outer portion of your eye. I know I can get a little crazy with the black eyeshadow, and then I ruin everything. So start really small. Just slowly blend things. Take your time. There's no rush with this part. Now I'm going to blend um, this diamond type shade. It's so pretty. I wet my brush, and I'm going to blend this from my inner corner to about a third of the way into my lid just to kind of really lighten and brighten up that inner third of my eye. And then I'm going to take these two pink shades and that's going to be my brow bone highlight. There's not really a brow bone highlight per se in this that isn't matte so I chose the pink. For my lower lash line now we're going to carry that same maroon shade that we used as our transition shade and I'm going to use a pencil brush and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line just blend 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 I really wanted to mimic the um, top blending that we did down onto the bottom blending and if you watch any of my tutorials I pretty much do the same method every time now I'm gonna take that dark purple shade with a small little elf like angle type brush and really smudge this into my lower lash line covering up any gaps of skin um, I want the purple to blend into the red well, I guess it's maroon, kind of like on top. Uh, just really smudge it, take your time. Don't leave any gaps. It just looks really pretty when it's all blended out. Now I'm going to take my NARS Via Veneto Black Eyeliner. I find that this one actually stays in my waterline. And so I am lining my upper waterline my and my lower waterline really need to sharpen this bad boy. I uh, almost poked myself in the eye really bad. Um, but really just want to really sculpt out and define the eye. Then I'm going to go in with my Inglot Gel Eyeliner and this is an e.l.f. Uh, angled brush. And I am just going to line my upper lash line. I'm sorry it's a little out of focus. It is incredibly difficult to film your eye being lined. Um, just a small little baby wing on this too. I'm going to apply a coat of mascara on my top lash line and my lower lash line and this is the Mali Volumizing Mascara. I'm not going crazy with it because I'm actually going to be going in with some false lashes and I'm going to be using the ones from House of Lashes. These are their iconic lashes. you what is on the rest of my face um I always list everything that I'm wearing as far as jewelry makeup everything that I talk about it's always listed below so that you can reference it and so that I can reference it because I've been having fun lately going back and watching some of my old videos and checking out my makeup seeing what combinations of things I put together and I've been finding some really awesome <laughs> makeup looks that I'm going to be recreating in some tutorials but anyways um, my foundation I'm using the YSL Touche Clot foundation Love this stuff. Love it. And I actually applied it today and I've been applying it with my fingers. I know. I've kind of forsaken my brushes, but I don't know. It, it, I, I'm just really liking it that way. Um, this is a beautiful foundation. Um, for my bronzer slash kind of blush, well part of my blush, um, I used the Tarte Amazonian Colored Clay Bronzer Blush in the shade Pink Bronze. This is stunning. It's like a pinky bronze color. It works great as a warmer toned bronzer. Um, so I've been really loving playing around with that. Uh, for my blush, I have, this is a NARS day here. Um, for my blush and highlight, this is NARS's Gaiety. Just a fun, bright pop of color. I, I love to pair pink blushes with purple eyeshadows. I just love the play on the cooler toned pink. Blushes with the cooler tone purple eyeshadows. I just think it's really flattering. And then for my highlight, this is fun. This may not be everybody's cup of tea. It is limited edition, so if you want to get it, I would get it sooner than later. Um, this is from their spring collection. This is NARS's Reckless. Um, I've used, used this as a highlighter today. It does have glitter, but it's just fun. Um, you may not like glitter, so then you may not want to use this. Just pick something else. But... I kind of wanted to do something that was kind of like a pinky champagne, and that is exactly what this is. It's, it is very glittery. 
just to be forewarned. Um, but it's very pretty on the cheeks, and that is what I have. Can you see the glitter? Is it coming across? I don't know. I can't tell. So that is what is on the rest of my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this particular type of smoky purple eye is my favorite like way to wear color, and it's my favorite way to wear purples. I just think it's so flattering. I think it's flattering on everyone as well. So, oh my gosh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you are coming from Melissa's channel, like I said, welcome. I hope you stay a while. Guys, don't forget to check out Melissa's video, her cranberry smoky eye. I've had a sneak peek if you watch her channel. Um, it's beautiful. So definitely go over and check that out. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, guys, and if you would like to see some more um, tutorials. So I will chit-chat with you guys later. I hope you have a great day, and bye.